Hi guys, the tilt mechanism of the horizontal blinds was broken. Namely, the hook itself. It looks like this. This mechanism can be purchased separately. But in my city there are no such. Therefore, I will disassemble, model and print. Disassemble the warm gear housing. First I use a scalpel, and then a plastic card. Carefully separate the two halves along the perimeter. Two pins were used for the connection. Now we need to model this rotating screw with a hook. I will model in Fusion 360 program. Let's see how the part was created. The detail consists of three parts. Hook worm and decorative cylinder. It is necessary that the parts are tightly inserted into each other. For the worm I made a smooth change in the size of the hole. First offset 0.22 mm. And at the end of 0.2 mm. Thus the hook should be securely fixed in the worm. The hole in the cylinder is made with a gap of 0.21 mm. A few words about creating a worm. First, a sketch was created inside the cylinder. Thus, the thread will be smoothly out of it. To create a screw, use the coil tool. I chose these settings and sizes. The main thing is the pitch, that is, the distance between the turns. I measured the part and got a step size of 2.4 mm. I made the height a little more, so that the worm ended smoothly. I made the section size 1.7 mm, then 0.2 mm will be cut off, and will be good. It's done. If you need these 3D models, write to me about it in the comments. Export the models to STL format and you can start printing. I will print from PLA plastic. Let's go to the Cura slicer. Main settings. The height of the layer is 0.1 mm. This is necessary for accurate printing of the worm. Wall thickness 1.2 mm. Infill is 100%. The nozzle temperature is 215 degrees, table 80 degrees. Print speed 30 mm per second. 100% cooling. Type of adhesion to the table brim. Let's see how the worm will be printed. It's alright. Let's start printing. I will print on a 3D printer JG Aurora A5S. The review is on the channel. The tip at the top right. I will leave a link to this printer in the description. 
All parts are printed out and before assembly you need to check the operation of the worm gear. Everything is great to spin. Let's start. First put on a decorative cylinder. And then insert the hook into the worm. It holds securely. By the way, the gears can be lubricated with silicone grease. The build was successful. It looks good. The worm is perfectly engaged with the worm wheel. Now let's try how it will work with the stick. Everything turns easily in both directions. The mechanism is already installed on the blinds and works well. If you made a mistake with the size, you can use a piece of plastic thread. It will be used as a seal. Remove excess with wire cutters. It's holding up very well, too. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.